Hello everyone and welcome back to Two Bros Game Night. I am your host, Older Bro. And I'm your other host, Younger Bro. And today, oh god, today, we're doing Toad! We've got the Toads. <laughs> so contrary to what I said last time, I am not, in fact, going to talk to every single Toad. Come on, man! There's a hundred Toads. I will be dead. <laughs> you mean your voice will be dead? That may not be... Those two things may not be uh, necessarily not intertwined. Why the heck does everything fall like right in front of you when you open a door and exit or whatever? Because if it didn't fall, then you would be looking at a door or at a wall. Yeah. So they use this effect where they just remove the front pane so you're looking in on a model. Mm. Like, you don't have to like it, but the question is, what the heck else would they do? Do something that Zelda does? Which is just a transition into a next room? Well, yeah, but the joke is that everything's made of paper and cardboard, so it's a cardboard model. Yeah. So they just can just remove the wall. Like, so, and they like, are literally ripping and, the, away the fourth wall. And, and just, smashing anything that's, like, right next to this building. Yeah, like, I, no, it's not realistic. It, the wall isn't actually gone. It just looks like I it's know. gone. Anyways, let's talk to this guy. Do Luigi's Mansion type of stuff. Greetings, the name's Paracary. I deliver letters. Y'all got a parcel. Yes, hello, this is the post office. You know, Chris, you can't do any kind of, you know, old man voice. I'm pretty sure that my voice sounds older than yours does right now, mister. I'm possibly... You can read any letters that you write for you or for your other party members. <laughs> uh, look, Miss Mr. Mailman, uh, I, I'm sorry to ask you this, but, uh, how long have you been working at this mail, at this mail office? Been working here for years. And, uh, how many complaints and, uh, lawsuits have come against you in that time? One, for, you know, flying too fast. I, uh, w were you chasing someone? No. I just didn't obey the highway rules. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, well, I don't think I feel comfortable getting my mail from you anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna ask this other guy over here. Wait! Y'all got a parcel. I'll just have him give it to me. So, waste my time giving it to him so he can give it to you? I trust him more than I trust you. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> You, you can read this one, I just wanted Please drop by now and then to check and see if you've received any mail. And game is crashing. God, I'm about to die. <laughs> well, oh, you seem to have some mail. Which one would you like to read? Y'all got a parcel. Oh, look, the guy standing next to you has mailed you a letter. <laughs> I'm right here! <laughs> Oh, no, my apologies. It's a letter for him from us. Uh, we have mailed him a letter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How could we do such a thing? Here you go. Mario, you were a lot stronger than you looked. We figured you were just some punk goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us, and you showed us that being good is as important as being strong. So, you proved your worth. When you come back, do you think we could be friends? Please say yes. We'll be waiting. Red and blue Goomba Bros. We'll keep the letters for you. Come by anytime you want to read some letters. Preferably in the next hour. God, that actually hurts my voice more than the toads. <laughs> really? <laughs> Preferably come by sometime soon. How Otherwise, can an old man die. voice just hurt your throat like that? Because the toad voice is just really pitchy. Meanwhile, his voice is really gravelly! <laughs> mashed potatoes. Oh. I need my french fried mashed potatoes. Oh, okay, well, maybe I'll prefer the toads then. <laughs> Alright, leaving here. Never come back here again. Never. Okay, where the heck was I supposed to be going? I don't know. Check the sign. 
Uh, <laughs> let's see. Beach's so, Castle. Which... North City. So, East City is to the north. North City is to the east. And West City is also to the north. Where the f*** am I? You know, if we don't get copyright struck from uh, from the actual makers of these games, we're going to get copyright struck from the people we keep referencing in our own videos. Yeah, I'm sorry for referencing <laughs> something. <laughs> Apparently, that applies to copyright. <laughs> I'm, I'm simply saying that eventually someone's going to get so sick and tired of us referencing them that they're going to ask us to stop. <laughs> then I cherish the day that that comes. <laughs> yes, we'll report back to you when that happens. When the little We will make a video there. about some, when somebody says, look, uh, guys, please stop. Please. We, we, we will come back when the lawsuit has been, you know, over. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. We're not going to make any videos until a lawsuit happens and is over? Yep. Uh, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I think I actually need to go back this way. What's this sign say? Toad Town Newsflash. Princess Peach kidnapped. Castle uprooted. A few days ago, Princess Peach's castle was stolen. She was inside and is presumed kidnapped. This castle has been reported as stolen. <laughs> You are not wrong. The whereabouts of the princess are unknown, and where the castle once stood, there is now a gaping hole in the ground. And now it's on a castle on a cloud. No, no, no. She is in a castle on a giant Bowser copter. In the sky, above the clouds. That was not a copter. That was literally another castle. Look, literally, look, I'm just... The only other thing it could be is possibly a blip. It was not a it's copter. It's not a... No, uh, fine. You call... What the heck do you call it? A Bowser hover platform? Yeah. Okay. It's on... Apparently, the castle rose into a sky on, on, on top of a Bowser patented hover platform. Patent pending. Patent pending. <laughs> as soon as we get more information or new information, yeah, we'll I'd, post follow-up reports on this board. I'd say important stuff would be maybe in the houses. Probably, but I'm going to stick with this part of town because this is the part of town that I think we need to be in. Yeah. So I'm going to start here <clears throat> because of this sign. Hold on. Let me check. No, just... it is that way. Okay. Well, either way, we need to come back here because we didn't check anything here. So yeah. let's start over here. <clears throat> oh, there's another that. one of those. Oh, God, no. Okay. The earthquake when the castle flew away was terrifying. Everything was shaking. The ground, the houses, I fell right over! What are you gonna do with the toadette there? Make them sound exactly the same as they actually do. I didn't know which was which, really, so I just went with it. <laughs> Look, if Ninten Nintendo says they don't have a gender, which is bullcrap, they do have a gender. Yeah, it's but, so bull But, regardless of if they have a gender or not, they have the identical voice. I wonder if toadette's gonna mean Smash. Sir, there's an there's a Nintendo Direct coming out in November, and it's about Smash Bros. Of course, she's going to be in Smash. Yep. I mean, it, it was didn't, so. Didn't Captain Toad make it in Smash? Yeah, I think so. I don't remember anymore. The Direct was so long ago. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Maybe. If any Toad would, it would be Captain Toad. It would be Captain Toad, or the, the best Toad of all Toads. Yes. Yeah. The normal Toad, Captain Toad. Yeah. It was so horrifying that I, I'd just like to forget it ever happened. My dad works at the castle, so it's that not at home toadette. usually. That ain't, oh, uh, wait, it, it's younger. <laughs> the, exactly. They're uh, even pitchier. Uh, but now the castle's gone, so he's at home. You're not going to have a voice after when this I day. When I said I'm glad because dad's at home, I got scolded. Wait, what? What? So you got Did I just... punished for being happy that your father's home. What? I I guess I'm a drunken father. I guess the argument is the dad's out of work because he works at the castle. So Once any, again, drunken father. Any appreciation that the father's at home means that they're drunken saying Drunken Father. What alcohol have you seen in this universe? Toads get drunk off water, everybody. 
Sure, why not? <laughs> What's up with that? Oh, busy, busy! The room doesn't get tidied up when my darling's at home! Oh, that's why she's mad. She's mad because when the, the husband's home, the house is dirty. Sorry, I'm not talking to you about this son. Sis, daughter? Now, how oh. you did that? Uh, that's how. That doc. We'll come back to that. All right, the next house. We've already been in here. Yep. Let us out! Okay, guess we'll try down here. Oh, right. This is how you get back to your house. La, 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 la. I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. Sure, that's probably more accurate. What? Mario, it's you. Good to see you. Mario. And all your... Uh, you're alright. After all the castle craziness, I was really worried about you. Why are you a sheep or a goat now? I'm kind of referencing something. You know, referencing things are all well and good as long as people get the reference. <laughs> From that one video where Mario's can't t take a Mario Maker any longer and so he puts Luigi there. Mario, come back. Mario. Okay, that. Yeah. Whatever. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape it in time. Mario. What? Stomp the Goomba. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Goombario. Nice to meet you. I see. Great. Just great. You're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. Can Luigi actually join your team, though? Nope. That is... Not only can Luigi not join your team, in the sequel, they make fun of the fact that Luigi can't join your team by saying that Luigi goes on a completely separate adventure from you that he keeps telling you about the entire time, which it's implied that he's just making up in order to get back at Mario for not taking him on any adventures. Like This is BS. Yeah, like, it, it's a big joke around the community, around like the entire Mario community, that Luigi is shafted at all possible uh, like stops. So this is just one of those. Luigi doesn't get to go on your adventure because he's terrible. Yes, I would like to see Luigi on your team. I agree. Hey, just don't worry about it. We have the Mario and Luigi series to go through at a later point in time. Yep. See, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh, well. Take care of Mario, okay? Ah, so Luigi's a homemaker. <laughs> what? Did he invent Animal Crossing homemaker? No, a homemaker is a person who stays at and takes care of the home. Oh, oh right, right. Got to shake the what, why are you trying to hit the bush for? What did it ever do to you? <laughs> hey, look. A reference to the Mario Bros being actual plumbers. Pipes. Yeah, they get three pipelines to their house. They must a lot. No, no, no. These are, these are the pipes that they put the, in. They haven't installed these pipes yet. Yeah. Very, very interesting reference. Okay, let's check inside the house. Oh, Ooh, that lag. There's some lag spikes here. Oh, and here's the, uh... The, the, here's the thing. Yeah. Here's your collection screen. 80 badges, 160 star pieces. You weren't kidding when you said it was a long game. Yeah, this is why I'm not planning to uh, to complete it. I'll just get through it. So you're just going to beat the story? Yep, that's the plan. Yeah, and when I play it, I'm not. Uh, you can play it on your own time and not now. It will be a solo series. <laughs> yeah. Good In the future. Luck. In the future. In the future. Okay, here's the item shop. I don't really need any items, so I'm just going to look at all the Pow. items. Look at all those items. 
Oh god, no. I wanna buy a book? <laughs> okay. I can, I can only make so many impressions. Yeah. Okay, we can't go up there, because we already tried. Here, wait, does that platform move? Uh, no. There's a, a partner that you'll have to get to do something there. Oh, so you have to... Okay. So we have to get a lapis. Oh, and here's the toad that tells you to go home. Mario, have you gone back to your house yet? Luigi was wondering how you were doing! You can go home through that pipe that you already went through! In the front gate! You can push down on the control stick and enter the pipe! Wait, what did I say? Say, why don't you give me a tour of your house someday? Nope. I already tried to break that. I already tried to talk to those guys. So we were supposed to go this way. Okay. Yep. We're in Toad Town proper. So. I don't think you can break the fence. Nope. Let's just try to go places. Merlin is out. Okay. Yes. Okay. We'll start by going to Luigi's... Or not Luigi, uh, yeah. Yeah, Luigi's castle. castle. Hey, I mean, f from... From the uh, only game Luigi's ever soloed in... Luigi's Mansion. Yep. He apparently has enough money to build a hyper-rich mansion that is equal in cost to a modern mansion. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. He I think is he, rich I, beyond all... I think he could call his mansion a, a castle if he wanted to. He's probably second richest only to uh, Scrooge McDuck. Uh, I mean, yeah, probably. I can't believe the Princess Peach's castle was here just a little while ago! Wow! Uh, um, uh, three episodes ago. First off, it was like five episodes ago, but whatever. I was in the castle when it started to shake, but my lightning quick fate got me out! Isn't this episode five? Uh, six, I think. Oh. I know Luigi made it out along with maybe a few others. I wasn't paying attention. I was just abandoning them. Screw you, people! <laughs> but everyone else was taken. Now listen very carefully. We're about to be taken. All right, here we go. Here we go this way. Listen very carefully. You're about to be taken. Go this way. Now whoever you are, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Hey, look, stars. You should go get it. Shooting star summit. So, I, I was telling you about the Looking for something? Drop by Merluvi's place. No. Um, do these stars hurt you or, like, nope. do anything? Nope. They are just background scenery. It's nice. Can you actually get um, invincibility in this game as well? Uh, I think there might be an item that allows you to be invincible for a few turns, but it doesn't. It's not really the same. And, and it's not the same as the rainbow thing. No, that's unfortunate. Now we have the joy of climbing up this very tall structure. That looks like a cake. Oh, well, I guess it kind of is. Yeah. I didn't notice that. Until me. Oh gosh, no. This is that guy Welcome who speaks in you. this is that guy who speaks in chalkboard grading. Yeah, th this yeah. screw this. No one speaks this. Even Toad's voice can't yeah. comprehend the joys of chalkboard scratching. Yeah. We are the seven star spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. Beyond the sky. High beyond of the sky. Okay, sure, whatever. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. Apparently, even though we've, you know, prepared or even though we've, you know, cared for this item since the beginning of time, we never took any precautions to protect it, because who the heck could go into space and try to steal it? Bowser. Yeah. The Star Wars. Like, as soon as they heard of Bowser, they should have took some precautions. Yeah. I mean, if they've, if they've had it be for all time, you're telling me no one but Bowser tried to steal this thing? You've never put in protections to stop someone from stealing it? Like, 
a wall, a barrier. They did have walls. They had a how about church thing? Well, yeah, but here's the thing: if the, if this star rod is infinitely powerful, <clears throat> why didn't they just use the star rod to create an invulnerable barrier to protect the star rod by itself? <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, the star rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish, like. Hey, wish Star Wad, I wish that you were perfectly and permanently protected from anyone ever using you for evil. Yeah, seriously. That's all you gotta do! Congratulations, no story. The end. Unfor if they said, unfortunately, we couldn't wish some protection on it, then... Yeah, I don't know. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes. Like, for instance, I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Oh, so you knew about Bowser, and you knew he was making wishes, and knew he would come from you, and you still didn't protect this star rod? What is wrong with you? Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a what? Result, I want never Peach. Granted. So, I want Peach to like me is a selfish wish? Yes. Hmm. The wish is literally, hey, I don't give a crap what she wants. I want her to like me. If she doesn't like me, well, that's not my problem. Just make her like me. Right. Yeah, that is very selfish wish. Like, I mean, fair enough. Yeah. Bowser, that fiend, when he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the star rod so he could grant his own wishes. And no one thought... See, so you have to use the star rod to grant wishes. Yeah. So again... No one thought, hey, let's grant our own wish of protect ourselves. Idiot. Yeah. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It is the responsibility of the seven star spirits to keep the star rod safe and use it properly. Huh. And apparently it's improper to wish for it to be protected. Better. Yep. Idiots. We must get the Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. <clears throat> In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. Of course not. He has made himself all-powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He is terrible to behold. Once we seven Star Spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Oh, so never mind. So they have the power to be stronger than the Star Rod, or to be in, or as to, equal. Yeah, or to be equal to the Star Rod, or to somehow depower the Star Rod. And yet they got. And beat. somehow they still lost to Bowser. These idiots! What are you doing? Whip out that power! Oh, Apparently they're pacifists or something. Mario, we are dead. Alas, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Good to know you're exhausting it now, not when you should have. Although it looks like we're there beside you, it is only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over great distance. But even now, our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, first of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Just teach me the action commands. Yeah. Please, Mario. You are our last hope, and we will die. You are our last hope, yeah. Luke. Yeah, really. Mario, it looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. That'd be nice. Save and continue. The next cutscene. Yeah, as you saw, it was not a helicopter. Well, it's it's a platform. The point is, it looks like the the Bowser copter that he rides in, which he I think calls a Bowser copter. Yeah, that is either Bowser copter, Bowser ship copter. Whatever. Yeah, that, there's no other word for it. So that's why I was saying it's a Bowser copter. It's just it's the same thing, just really big without propellers. I mean, it has propellers it's just underneath. That's like. Uh, what is it? Like an energy... like Something like Iron Man, like a propulsion system. So, what propellers do normally? You know, propel things. But it's still not a propeller. 
or, or whatever. It's a dashing twirl. Mario's probably hurt! Everyone's in prison! The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. And all I can think about is how happy I am to be kidnapped by Bowser again! <laughs> Something must be done! If only somebody could help me! Somebody like Mario, who always helps me! Hey Peach, I'm here for the scheduled time. <laughs> Why aren't you laying on your bed? <laughs> no, you're early! Come back in three hours! No, yeah, I He's like, blew it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go on. My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? Get on the bed. It's you. <laughs> it's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have the star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. Now that other kingdom, well, that's a different story, but specifically the Mushroom Kingdom. Also, I feel like I'm trying to do like a Bobbity impression. Hmm, yes, good, Boo. Very good. Sure, doesn't sound anything like Bobbity. Mm, to me, it kind of does. It sounds like Bobbity if Bobbity was even older than Bobbity actually is. I want, I want, I'm going to actually practice Bobbity now. <laughs> Anyways. You know the power that grants everyone wishes? It's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? Well, if we can grant wishes, then why the heck isn't my wishes ever been granted for you to go away? <laughs> <laughs> imagine if... Oh. Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted, yeah, Boo! Yeah. They keep wishing that I stop being kidnapped. Well, let's see how that works out. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, hasn't worked yet. <laughs> oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us. Koopas over the years. Literally, we employ Koopas. We treat you all equally. We just don't treat Bowser equally. Dang it, my voice. Yeah. <coughs> my voice is yeah. about to go too. We just don't treat Bowser equally, because, you know, he's a. <laughs> <laughs> you know, or if you, you know, want anything, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I can grant wishes. I'm a genie now, Mon. Of course, I'll only grant requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. I wish for a thousand zenny. Can I be actually made queen? You know, my parents are definitely dead at this point. So can you change can my somebody, title? Can somebody make me a queen already? Queen Peach. You watch yourself, princess queen. <laughs> you better not cause trouble. <laughs> no, that's, that's the secret. She keeps getting kidnapped by Bowser. Because he's a king, and she wants to be a queen. So she's just waiting for the day that Mario dies, so that she can marry him, and become an actual queen. Because apparently the Mushroom Kingdom just refuses to let her be a queen. For whatever reason. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Oh, please! If only somebody could help me! Somebody's helping hey, look, me! Hey, the Deus Ex Machina is knocking on the door! <laughs> Starfy. That is not Starfy. It's not? No. Starfy is which not star even close which to is, that. Which star is this? Hello, princess. I don't know. I don't have a voice for this. Uh, Hello, princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. Hmm. But you're, you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? I... Really? Star kid? Not starling? Or... Anything but Star Kid. It, it, it's too close to Sterling. This was before Jim Sterling. I know. Uh, 
Whatever. I just wanted I... you to say that. <laughs> Anyways. I came from Starhaven to grant your wish. Why is he Peach now? Because I haven't nailed down a voice for this character yet. I'm working on it. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, jeez. Oh, you came because I wish that somebody could help me? It also doesn't help that I'm talking to Peach alongside this character. So I have to flip back and forth quickly. Somebody's helping me. Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that star rod back from Bowser, okay? Good luck with that. Think you can do it? Uh, uh, sorry. That, that's a little much for a novice star like me. Uh, maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Starhaven could grant a wish like that. Uh, I'm so sorry. Please ask for something easy. Something a small star can do. Then can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured and I have to save them all as soon as possible. But now can Peach join yeah. your party? Yeah, but wouldn't that make it harder for you to save them since you wouldn't be in the castle? Yeah, and Mario wouldn't be as motivated. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Uh, actually, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. Well, what can you do? I can give you pie. <laughs> no, no. Princess Peach prefers cake. Fine, I'll get it right next. Time. <laughs> if I were a more yeah, if I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's all right. Don't be sad, Twink. <laughs> Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Oh, Twink, do you think you could find Mario? I want you to give this to him. Star necklace. This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. Did he just eat that? He inventoried it. Uh, oh, wait, Twink. Wait one second. Can you also... Please tell Mario that... I'm fine and he shouldn't worry. Okay, can you tell him that? He loves that crap. It motivates him so much. It fills him with determination. <laughs> Wrong series! <laughs> but you're not wrong! <laughs> of course. I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. I definitely won't screw them up. I like how this cutscene pretty much took up the entire video. Yep. <laughs> now, don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe, and safe until I return, okay? Stay safe. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, you older bro's tongue twists. Gonna make a series out of that. Mario, where are you? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Younger bro well, time well, twists his way in a, into in, a, so in an alternate or very far away future where we have a lot of subscribers, someone will make a channel of all the time, <laughs> yeah. like of all of our like of like random clips from us, and someone will make a series about your all twist. the times I say random words <laughs> that aren't actually English words. <laughs> you stay safe tonight. Mario, where are you? Where's my water? Where's my honey muffin? Okay. So, next time on Two Bros Game Night, we will continue from this location. Yep. And hopefully not have any more tongue problems. <laughs> we will. Probably. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> See you all next time. See you all next time and stay safe, everybody. <sighs>